Oh, I tell you what, that radiance took its toll on my legs. I don't know if it's because uh, I'm not used to being out on the bike or I've uh, gone through a lot of mud and stuff. It's uh, now a bit of leg burn. Yeah, I was just coming up to uh, the main state of uh, Waterf now. Oh, well, I ain't left. And then uh, take a right towards. Uh, God, I don't know. <laughs> uh, I say, oh, let's find out when we get there. That's best bet. Those are nice butchers here. I like to pop here now and then, treat myself. Good stuff. It's uh, EV Slack and Sons. Nice butchers. Bit of a trek to come out from here from Atfield, mind you. That's why I'm going to take a little summer, just pop in there and uh, treat myself. Alright, signpost Cunningsborough, Edlington. Well, that's good then, as I'm heading towards Edlington. Whew. Might be another chocolate session time, I think, coming up. Isn't it in Wadworth? Very quiet. Not knocking it. Everyone's probably busy partying. Yeah, just a short stint on the road. And uh, we'll go down this little lane, short gate. Can't say I've been down here. What's that lab's telling me to come down here? So uh, we shall. As if Donald has map mapping uh, is uh, up to scratch. The thing is, I map, map all these. Yeah, he was good at maps. Mapometer and uh, rows for. Uh, Ways and stuff, not until you get out <laughs> that you realize um, what you thought. It's not as simple as on a, on a car journey going from here for Doncaster to uh, Cornwall. These, remember these side paths and trails, you know, conditions and uh, accessibility and everything else is very much when you do little known things are out the, out the way of everybody else it's going to be problematic I've seen some of my videos before I've had my scrapes my near misses but always a success at the end I think I do talk a lot of shite actually <laughs> shut up now Stickers bar has gone down my throat. I'd rather nut. <sighs> There's just something about being outside, isn't there? I mean, I think we all moan about bloody winter coming, but it is nice winter. I mean, today's obviously a uh, a bit of a rare occurrence, 15, 16 degrees. But, uh, it does help uh, me recharge and being cooped up. In the house, fresh air, sunshine, and scenery just uh, gets you back into it for you. What is, what is uh, real and what is uh, relevant in your life, your thoughts. Anyway, that's enough philosophical uh, doodah. So, this uh, video, uh, as you probably noticed now, has been split into two. They are very long videos that I've always done in the past. Uh, Generally, because I know a lot, quite a few people who watch the videos don't always get out and uh, try them or see them, but it's a bit of entertainment for them. So uh, it's, 
it's, it's, it's a conundrum. I just need your thoughts on this, you know. Um, I don't know how many people watch to the end. Um, <laughs> I think I've only watched a few of them to the end. But uh, I do try to give the whole route as best I can all the, uh, the trail so you can see it uh, for yourself. Um, so I'm just pondering whether or not, uh, because they are so, so long and uh, people don't have bloody 40 minutes, 45 minutes to sit and watch. YouTube's very much like 15 minutes max in it, uh, but not for what I want to do. So I've decided to uh, do a part one and part two. Um, so if anybody would uh, comment on uh, on this, whether in the uh, comments of the video or on the uh, Donald MTV Facebook page, you know, um, I'm just going to try it uh, a few times and see uh, see how it pans out. Um, so I make the video smaller. <clears throat> but at least I'll probably get more videos out as well. Like that. Ooh, this is bloody oh shit! Oh god! Oh shit! Oh shit! That hot deep. <laughs> There's no one I need him. <sighs> Welcome to Waterf Woods. Yes. Anyway, I'll let you have a ponder on that, guys. Like I say, if you think. Uh, Two videos, uh, you know, part one and part two for the rides I do is better. Or whether you think uh, just one long video <coughs> to show the full route is uh, is better. I'll leave it with you. Well, it's been a while since uh, I've been here. I can hear the M18. Oh, there's a tunnel, so uh, it's got to be this way. Shine a light. Look at this. <laughs> Deep one in it. Oh, that's a deep one. Sexy. Everything about me so sexy. Ooh, chuffing now. Ooh, bandit. Oh, okay now, not be biking. That's for sure. That's as unsexy as old. M18. A1. Get on me there then. Ooh. Big wide one. Three laner. Three laner M18. So I think this now, you may correct me, is Edlow Wood. I think we were in Wadworth under the under the motorway into uh, Edlington. And then uh take a left, do we? There's a beer. That's your thing now. Don't his pathfinding is a bit shit. Yeah, Donny, well done, mate. Always count on you. Mum's a bad one, it's that chuffing hard going. Very heavy. Let's see when we get to that end. Part of the heaven way. Um, I'm not sure if there's a footpath or a bloody ride away. Either way, I'm going to walk it. I can't uh, pedal through that thick grass. I'm going to just take the bike over there then. <laughs> We're crossing here. Yes, it's a walkway. It's not a bridleway. Definitely a walk foot pass though. I will respect that. Plus I'm a breather as well. Well, I'm hoping it's the I can see gate, so that must be right. I'll walk up to the, uh, the farm and then uh, I know where I am then on the main, uh, well on a road, then I'll take me up to Old Edlington. I'll get up to the farm and I'll start riding. Nice. <laughs> All right, the heaven way. All right, let me see. Uh, electric fence, oh, nice. Right, we have got to go this way then, don't you, lad? <sighs> and that is why we don't use public bloody footpaths. I never know where the shit we're going. I hate going through people's land, is the best it's ever. He's have some crazy bloody dog. Shit, this gate. Oh, I think realistically I could have gone through there, couldn't I? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh dear. Next time, Donald, lad, I'll go through there, I'll come down here. Generally, I've only ever come down here just the fact it's a uh, decline, uh, a descent. 
So uh, let me sound going up it. I think it's quite a uh, steady descent all the way up to Old Edmonton. I'm not going to bust it up. So enjoy the scenery, the blue sky, and the sunshine. <laughs> Level the chocolate bar. Now the green fields are there now. Beautiful. You come out of a leafless uh, wood, all grey and brown, and then out into the vast openness. Green fields, sunshine and blue sky. Ah, beautiful. Beautiful. This is old school lane, if I'm not mistaken. Let's get to these houses. You can see the intersection there with uh, the Braithwaite, uh, Mulvey, Cunningsborough, and Edlow there. So, the main roads are not too far away. A couple of hundred metres of that. Actually, it was only that initial uh, first hundred metres from coming out of the uh, Farm that was uh, quite challenging and it just uh, leveled off. School walk is called school walk. School walk. Ah. School walk. Then we just join on to uh, the main uh, road. There it is. And we'll take a ride. into Edlinton. Uh, let's see if we can get a right. Um, let's look for Old Pit. Uh, yeah. That's what it was. Oh, God, bloody rose, eh? Another place I'm not familiar with is Edmonton. Just got to drive through it. I don't know what's around and about it. Maybe worth exploring at some point. If somebody uh, from Edmonton who knows some uh, places that want to tell me, drop me a line, much appreciated. Right, I'm going to make my way to it, uh, what is known as Edmonton Pitwood. Edmonton Pitwood, here we come. Let's just see what we've got. We've been here a couple of times. So far, I'm impressed. Little intricate little paths, nothing too wide, nothing too narrow. Pond there with reeds. 
track seem all right. Oh, weather terrain surface. That must take us to Edlow Wood then. Must do. Oh, gosh, <laughs> that surface. Oh, look how well these trees are developed now. God. To me, the pits have only been shut like 10 minutes. And you forget that, it's nearly bloody 30 years now they've been shut. be a big uh, blot on the landscape around here and now totally transformed you can see for miles the big hills the green hills with the trees and uh, whatnot it's nice to see not is it very pleasant that steep incline doesn't look very pleasant mind you It's a lot steeper than others, particularly I thought. It's a lot more narrower than many. Um, it's just like being in uh, in a forest, really, with trails and trees. Yeah, lovely. Well, happy. Well, happy. Let's see what surprises I can find here and share with you, if there are any. It's like an absolute limited turn right, but we're going to go all the way down. To the left, let's go right then. Let's see where this takes us to Texas. Yeah. Taking us to straight on, he says. Shit. I've decided to do this route. Up there, then he done it once. Oh, fucking hell. Don't need to go up there, is he? Track, off some of this thing. Yeah. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, I thought it's better than going out main trails, isn't it? <laughs> Get state of this. This is deep. This is bloody deep. Oh, come on, I'll get up there. Way through, mate. Way through. Oh, way through. Oh, I'm need so. No, oh, that's got me. That's got me. Oh, shit. Definitely got me. That's not bloody brilliant, is it? Not brilliant at all. In fact, it seems I've lost the path. Or I've lost the sat now action on it. it. Must be this one, the only bloody one around. Ooh. Very, very slippery. Ooh. What oh, good fun. Me. I need to uh, go and visit uh, Camp. Oh shit, the bed. This is fucking stupid. Oh, bollocks. Fucking. <laughs> oh, fucking thing went through. Oh, God. Just when I thought it was safe. Ooh. Safe to get back on the route. Come on, Donnie. This is. Oh, I've got a choice here, have I? Oh, keep going, otherwise. Get screwed it. Oh, come on, go on, lad. Fucking hell, where's this coming out? Don't we go all uh, Well, I never, I never planned this one. We'll just have to come off. But, we'll pass it a bit off piste. <laughs> I hope it brings out the bloody car park. Like, oh shit! I thought we were going to. Alright, bye, you decided to go that way, did you? Not my first choice, but hey ho! Oh, 
Well, you can have some control on this. I'm gonna follow contours, otherwise, uh, oh, God. Let me oh, To the uh, car park, but uh, <laughs> unless you know where you're going, it's not always advisable, is it? It just meant going up the bloody hill and down. I thought this will go around the base of the uh, the wood. I'll see you on the way. You can always go back if it's wrong. The joys of being outside and exploring. Oh, that nav's come back on, so obviously I've done something right. Ah, oh, yeah, quick cook here. Yeah. Detail, what's it called? Quick, uh, oh, I'll stop talking. Alternative. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Head low, uh, pit wood. Oh. That's where we just come from to the right. I think that was the uh, the bridge where I just stopped. Uh, heading towards the Alvali now, I think. What we're gonna do? I do believe. I think to the left is the is is where they used to dump a load of the old uh, slurry from the coal mine as well. I don't know what that's like. Uh, last time I went. Um, it was uh, knee deep in water, very slippery, very yucky, so I can't bother going again. Nope, just had a puncher. <laughs> Bloody useless. Anyway, I don't know if you can see here, but there's the mud uh, the back one. Um, strapped in with those straps, and the front one does the job to some degree. It's, uh, Sincerely, personal choice. Let's uh, see if we can get back before this uh, the tire goes down again. Yeah, it's not tubeless, these. Obviously. It's, uh, yeah, it's rock and roll, Donnie, lad. Right, so this um, stretch then is from the Alvalley to the roundabout on the Ticky Hill Road at Loversall. Um, doing a bit of research on this. It was an old railway line and I think it may have been the uh, the old Durham Valley Railway line, uh, which crossed into obviously now the, the, the Potterick car. Um, but uh, now, fortunately for us, these old railway lines have produced some nice uh, tracks uh, for both walkers and cyclists, which is good. Oh, it's at three o'clock now in the afternoon. Get up here, and then we'll uh, cross the road onto the other, uh, other bridle track, the old X Railway. Yeah, I think the ridge is up there, or the old railway line ridge. Cheers, thanks. If you're going to come down this road, this uh, track, it's best to come down it as opposed to come up it, because it is uh, at a gradient. So I'm thinking to the right and to the left, this is the cutting, then obviously the railway line come through here is the bridge. Yes. So the railway line did come through here. As of when it shut, no idea. I don't even know if it was uh, commercial traffic or passenger, but uh, long since gone, long since gone.
So we've just come past the uh, Woodfield Plantation uh, and the uh, Tesco's. I'm not too sure what this estate is called, but uh, it's on the, uh, the road from uh, Tesco's to the Morrisons and B&Q. No idea what it's called, but it's a nice little estate actually. Not the prettiest that I've seen in a long time. Just usually ram them all in, don't they? All houses these days. Oh, an early back anyway. So this brings us on to the, um, do you know what, B&Q basically. On the access point or the road from the, uh, the motorway comes along to the B&Q and we'll take the B&Q road up to the keep moat and uh, back to uh, where we started from and here we are I don't even know uh, well that was the uh, that's the underpass of the road obviously the railway line used to continue straight on down the side of Potrick car and uh, here to the left is the old the B and Q we cyclists out today Steady path, nicely tarmacked. Hello. Okay, yeah. Look at these are complex, aren't they? From traffic lights. Ooh. Straight across, Donny lad. Good stuff, good stuff, old bean. We're going to be out on the other side, aren't we? Alright, it's got us now. It's got us now. This is the Malar Bridge then. Yes, yeah, the close of uh, 2021. I'd like to thank the... Uh, well, you guys in the fair. The subscribers. I very much uh, do these videos uh, for you guys. You know, to uh, let you see... Uh, parts of Doncaster the trails or tracks that you, want not, you wouldn't not necessarily see otherwise you know so uh, thank you for your support and without it I probably wouldn't do it because there's no need but uh, I'd just like to say uh, thanks very much and uh, hopefully 2022 will be uh, a good biking year for you help you get out and about uh, Oh, I could just do it with McDonald's coffee now. Let's do it with McDonald's coffee. But, uh, yeah, so the um, pictures are all on my Facebook, done a lot of MTV and uh, the route is on Strava. You know, is it the first time you come across me? If you enjoyed it, just please subscribe, even share. Um, and also any questions that I've given you today, particularly like the, uh, the part one and two videos, if there's something that you think is better, then uh, please comment and let me know because um, I just do all these videos for you guys um, to make it up as I go along to be fair also if there's anywhere that uh, you think uh, I would benefit from uh, cycling in Doncaster area let me know um, I mean, I'm, I'm fully aware of uh, where I live the little paths that aren't designated bridle or footpaths anywhere else is a bit ambiguous I might be able to help me out on that one but uh, yeah that would be great but uh, over. But I'm going to leave it there and uh, thank you again for your uh, your time and uh, support and uh, all the best guys for this coming year. Alright, so I've done it lad, see you later. Ta -ra.